Whilst frugality is often about saving money, it does require investment. And the investment is your time. So, for instance, today I want to make a pasta bake with mozzarella melted on the top. I've got mozzarella to use up, so I'm doing a three day tuna pasta bake in the oven and I will get three days, maybe four days of meals out of it because I'm making it really big. But you can't just cook one thing in the oven anymore because electricity is expensive and it's a waste. So I've had to plan what else I'm going to do. I've decided to make um, a flapjack with mince meat, like a, like a giant mince pie, and I'm going to melt chocolate on it. Um, so almost like a millionaire shortbread kind of thing and I am going to do that in the oven as well. And because I have my main meal at lunchtime because that suits me better because I work from home and I get that afternoon energy slump so I'm better off having my main meal at lunchtime. That means I have to prepare all that in the morning. So this requires an investment of time, of pre-preparation so I started cooking um, the, f the flapjack at about um, 10 a.m. and I'm now prepping the lunch so that I can put everything in the oven at the same time. Lunch will be ready at lunchtime and everything will be cooked by 12 o'clock or thereabouts because I tend to have lunch at 12. And this, I mean, this works well for me. I work from home, I run my own business, my hours are entirely my own. I'm running under my own steam most of the time these days. But most people's lives don't work like that. And that is why convenience and ready meals and poor quality and kind of preying on gig workers like delivery drivers who get terrible pay has become so prevalent is because people's lives do not allow for pre-preparation or planning or just being more organized people's work lives are different there isn't one parent who's at home um, people expect to work long hours they commute long distances very often they take their work home with them and so life just doesn't work like that anymore it's as simple as that which makes living a frugal life is actually for people who are very privileged with their time or people who have chosen to sacrifice very well paid jobs or better paid jobs or whatever it is or lifestyle choices for a slower way of living and I much prefer to have less money and be more time rich I'm relaxed I never get stressed I'm able to plan my life as I want to um, whatever you may think of me not having a full-time job yeah I know, go and get a effing job is, is the uh, a fairly standard comment on my YouTube. But actually I don't need to because I would rather sacrifice some toxic, horrible, depressing office job for the way that I am now living. That works so much better for me.